All right, so we're going to move on to doing um, Union Pacific's uh, common size income statement and balance sheet. So to do a common size income statement and balance sheet is pretty straightforward. Uh, there's not very much to do. I'll show you the quickest and easiest way to do it. Since we already have things formatted, so I've kind of pretty things up a little bit uh, and easy to read. But all, all I want to do is want to make a copy. Uh, so I'm just going to hit... Um, Create a copy here and hit OK. So now I have two income statements on the balance sheet. I'm going to do the same thing. Right click, move the copy, create a copy, and hit OK. Um, and so income statement two here is going to be a common size income statement. Okay. And this is going to be common size balance sheet. Now, the first thing we do is going to screw up all our formatting, but that's really easy to fix with a paste special. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to use. Um, the original income statement to calculate the common size income statement. The idea of a common size income statement is to turn everything into percents of something. So in the income statements, everything's going to become a percent of revenue. Um, and so I want this freight revenue, right? So if I hit equals on freight revenue on my common size income statement, I want it to equal uh, the freight revenue of 2017 in um, our regular income statement divided by uh, our total operating revenues um, in that same uh, in that same year, and so it's going to turn this number into a percent of the total revenues. So we'll know that freight revenues are X percent, while other revenues are Y percent, and then so on. And our, it'll give cost breakdowns a percent as well. Now, uh, the main thing is when I when I want to replicate this, um, I need to lock uh, the denominator so that all of these divide by uh, 2017 revenue, but all of um, 16 numbers divide by 16 revenue and so on. Uh, and so what I wanna do is I wanna lock the column, right? So I want B right here. So B6, I, I just wanna put a dollar sign in front of the B so, um, so that it locks. Or I'm sorry, <laughs> I, I did that backward. Uh, so the six, I want it to, to lock the six. Uh, and the reason I want to lock the six is when I drag this down, it's gonna divide this by B6, divide this by B6, divide this by B6. But when I drag it over, so when I replicate it over, the B will change to a C. So I don't want to lock the B. I want the, the years to change each time. So just lock the 6. Um, so I should have this. So quote income statement B4, quote income statement B6, lock the 6, hit enter. So now I'm back over in the common size income statement where I actually was putting that calculation in. You'll see it'll initially put it in as a dollar because that's what it was before. So I'm going to change that to a percent, maybe give it a decimal. Um, and then when I drag this over and down, it'll calculate everything as a percent. Now, again, it's going to wipe out my formatting. You'll see if you did it right because each year uh, total revenue should be 100% of total revenue, right? So um, that, that should remain the same. Um, I'm not going to do this with earnings per share and stuff because it's totally in a different basis. So the percentages will not be correct. In fact, on the common size, you can take these away if you want. Um, you don't necessarily need them. Now, to fix my formatting, again, I don't have to go re-go through each one and be like, okay, I want to highlight this and put a line and highlight this and hit an icon. That takes a lot of time. Um, and so it's a lot easier to just go back to your original income statement and copy it. And then come over to your common size income statement and right click, hit this little paste special. And there's options here, including formats. So in this case, I'm going to paste the formats over it. It will not change any of the numbers. I'm just going to paste the formats so that it's formatted exactly the same way. Now, it does bring the dollar formats over, right? So these are in dollars. Um, and so uh, you will have to reformat common size again this way so but anyway all your italics and, and things should come over that way okay and then we're going to do the same thing with the balance sheet now the balance sheet everything should be a percent of total assets um, so we're going to do everything as a percent of total assets or I guess percent of total liabilities and equities and so be equal right our check figures were made, made sure of that um, so I'm going to do it the same way so I'm going to go to the common size balance sheet cash and cash equivalents here and B3 hit equals I'm going to go over to the regular balance sheet uh, click the same cell, B3, and I want to divide it by total assets. Um, and total assets is right here in B13. I want to lock the 13 and hit enter. And that's it. 
Uh, again, I'm not going to format the percent right away again because we know it's going to go away. Um, and so then I just click uh, and drag and replicate all of those. Uh, it does get mad at commitments and contingencies. Um, and so if we go back to the balance sheet at commitments and contingencies, all that is is these are blank. Um, so not even sure why they're really kept in their balance sheet. But anyway, we can just delete that, right? So if that's distracting, we can get rid of it. Uh, and then um, I can uh, bring those formats over, right? So come back over to the balance sheet, copy. Oh, what did I do? Control shift right, control shift down. There we go. Um, right click, pay special formats. And actually, some of your pay special options come up when you right click right here. So values, formulas, transpose, here's formatting right here. Um, so we can actually just do formatting that way. And then we can come over here. Oh, nope, not all of that. There we go. And hit percent and a decimal. You'll Again, you'll see assets should all be 100% of assets for that year because it's dividing by itself. These should also all be 100%, assuming your check figures had come out correctly. Um, we don't really need the check figures to stick around. Um, so if you want to delete those, um, you can. Uh, they're just for the main balance sheet. So anyway, there is a common size uh, balance sheet. Uh, and I mean, the main thing here is you're looking, this gives you a different view rather than nominal numbers. And sometimes it's easier to spot. Um, things that are changing rapidly or uh, in some weird way. So you can see like debt due after one year went from 17% uh, or almost 18% of their balance sheet back here to almost 28% of their balance sheet up here. So it went up by 10%, which is a lot when you were only at 17.8% um, to begin with. And it was a pretty steady climb. So they've added a lot of debt, um, uh, short-term debt, right? So debt due in the next year uh, and things like that. And then you can start trying to figure out why that's happening. Is it an effect of equity or is it an effect of something else going on? So anyway, uh, oh, I'm sorry, that's due after one year. So this is a long-term debt. Uh, Short-term debt uh, has stayed pretty flat. So anyway, we'll, we'll do more analysis and things like that when we're, when we're um, in class. So uh, that's it for common size statements.